friends, hey family, como estas bienvenidos, it's your girl, back with another video. I had to go there because I'm excited because it's Sephora sale, VIB sale time again. This is their holiday bonus sale, yes. So, timestamps are down below. I'm going to do everything by category. A lot of people love my natural hair videos and my curls. I'm, I'm. I can't consider myself a brown skin girl, but I got curls. But a scotch, but a scotch. Let me just reach from the back. Y'all can see all my products back here, right? So the first brand that I'm going to talk about is a Diva Car. This is my high end, like for my Diva girls that got curls that love products. These are silicone free. These are paraben free and they are sulfate free. So I love that. I feel like they really nourish the hair. Highly recommend Diva Curl. You giving them a check out. And my favorite, uh, 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 my favorite, um, this is my favorite high end no poo. This is the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence, super moisturizing. I do have a video where I even switch to a low porosity high, um, routine with my girl Kinky Sweat. Hey girl, how you doing? And so I was surprised that she loves the same no poo. So high porosity, low porosity, we love these. And so this is the one condition. I did not appreciate doing um, using a conditioner until I utilize Alicia Kinky Sweat's um, routine but I really do like this and as you can tell I have them in the Lita size no these are the 32 ounce cleanse and condition yes when I say I love diva curl you don't love diva curl what's wrong with you y'all know I was had to go I love God you don't love God what's wrong with you I love diva curl for my girls that need some strength in your hair I need some strength somebody say amen uh, Yes, this is the Diva Curl Deep Sea Repair Seaweed Strengthening Mask. This is really, really good. It strengthens the hair. I feel like it doesn't make it hard. You know, some things that, some of those proteins that really make your hair hard, that doesn't do it. And you can detangle it with this one. I really like it. It comes in eight ounce and it's considered a protein treatment. This is your conditioning treatment. I live by this one. This is one that I definitely is in my arsenal of a holy grail. This is the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. This leaves my hair so soft. I do have a review of these items, so I will hopefully leave a link. If not, I do have a natural hair, like all things hair playlist. You can check it out, girl. All you gotta do is type in the, um, the name of the product and it will be there. But this is one of my favorite deep conditioners. And this is the Diva Curl High Shine Multi Benefit Oil. This is a high shine finish oil. Now, a lot of these, which I will show you, have silicones, but I'm so happy this one doesn't. Okay, sometimes you don't want that silicone buildup feel, and this just gives you the high shine. Yes, so let your circle. I am in a singing mood, but this is Diva Curl High Shine really really good i feel like that this is even great for whether your hair is curly or if it's straight i love this and it has a very nice pleasant scent so um yeah it has some really good really nice oils in it it does contain coconut oil i just want to say that because some girls are protein sensitive and anything like coconut oil coconut water coconut 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 you put the lime in the coconut you do see i just want to sing today this is really good as well so we are done with diva curl next this is another silicone free brand that i am really enjoying and this is the briogeo be gentle be kind avocado quinoa co-wash i really enjoy this it is a no harsh sulfate silicones or parabens so this is in my silicone free category i really do like this it's very gentle it made my hair very cleansing i do have a review on this briogeo i wanted to show you guys from the risarco line this is the blow dry perfection heat protectant cream now i love the leave-in as well um i have the baby itty bitty one and then i also have the regular size i love that but i wanted to talk about the blow dry cream because i have not talked about it before and it's a cream that helps with heat protectant but has no silicone in it because a lot of times these do contain silicone but if you're check if you want to 
a really good blow dry perfection I really get a good blowout just a little bit goes a long way because you don't want to make your hair too heavy with these things unless you have a lot of hair and you need um, if you have fine thin hair this is a really good one as well and um, yeah that is what I love from Briogeo, still testing the brand, but these are the ones that I love that I would go back and repurchase. I am an oil fiend, okay? I love oils and this proves it, okay? So all of these are have silicones in it, okay? I had a silicone free category, you see my flow. These three are some of my favorites. They have different viscosities. That means that the consistency is a bit different. Let's start off with a lightweight oil. This is the Kendi oil, y'all. I love this so much that all the lettering is off, but I can tell you it's Alterna. This is their Kendi Bamboo Dry Mist Oil. Absolutely love it. And um, yeah, it helps tame frizz. It's very dry. It makes my curls pop. It's like a refresher oil. And I really, really love this because it's lightweight. I can use this on my curly or straight hair. But just remember that this has dimethicone. This has uh, silicones in it. So you do have to use a sulfate shampoo to rinse these or wash these out of the hair completely. Otherwise, you will get product buildup in the hair. You know what I'm saying? So really love this one. The next one in viscosity is the Whey Hair Oil. This smells amazing. And this is really, really uh, nice with nourishing the hair when my hair was straight I use this a lot but a little bit goes a long way you do not need a lot of this otherwise you can go overload really quickly with this but way hair oil I really like this in my hair especially when it's straight I only would use this in my hair when it's straight when it is curly I have the high shine and I have other oils but I really do enjoy this and this is another one that I really like on putting on my hair when it's wet and I'm about to blow dry it and this is the Moroccan oil treatment this is their Moroccan oil so I really really like this it does contain silicones I really enjoy this though but this one is alcohol free you want to make sure that when you're looking at your labels that you're looking for keywords like alcohol free silicone free paraben free if it doesn't say those then no, more than likely it has some form of a silicone in it but this is alcohol free Alcohols can tend to dry out the hair and you don't want to take out. You want to add in when you're talking about oils. So really enjoy these. Now we're on to skincare. I only have a few skincare favorites that I want to talk about since the last one that I would definitely repurchase. These are ones that I will repurchase. We're going to start with a cleanser. And this is the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood cleanser i have not done a full review on the brand uh yet which is youth to the people but i enjoy this cleanser so so much i have it in the deluxe size and the itty bitty baby travel size i think that there's a difference because yeah there is a difference so i have this in three sizes i really do enjoy this i get a clean i get a cleanse feel to my face without feeling stripped but you believe best believe when you use this you are getting everything off so I really do enjoy this and it's natural it's clean clean skincare that's what I was meaning to say really enjoy this let's go ahead and go to a serum now I love this serum and I've talked about it before but definitely I'm going to repurchase this this is the Kula sunless tan anti-aging face cream face serum I'm sorry I said face cream this I really enjoy and I love so much this is the Kula sunless tan anti-aging serum it's 70 percent organic and it's daily use gradual tan treatment so basically I love using this especially in the winter because it has a self um it has a very let's see the tan that it creates on the skin is not something that's ooh girl you look like an oompa loompa in your orange it's a very nice gradual tan and it's one that can that happens very quickly that's why you really have to wash your hands with this because you can tell because of the tan that's on your hand and tells you but I love this because it is a serum as well so it's not only a tanning mechanism or a tanning um, product it also is a serum it has vitamin C in it it has hyaluronic acid in it 
Um, it also has argon oil in it. So all of the things that you pretty much want in your skin during the daytime, this is a one-stop shop. If you want to like tan overnight and like go to sleep, which I don't know because this would rub off. I tend to use this during the day, but I really enjoy it because I mix it with my moisturizer and it's really, really good. So hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, argan oil. It has, it's like three in one. You know what I mean? It does the it does the thing. Moving on to exfoliates, exfoliators. This is the Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. This is known as the Hollywood's Two Minute Facial. I really like it. It's intense, y'all. A little bit goes a long way, but it's very, very good. Another intense one that goes a long way is the Lancer, the Method Polish. Really, really enjoy these. These are manual, so sometimes I need to have something that's gritty that I'm, you know, gently exfoliating the dead skin off my face. And I need to make sure that I get the forehead and around the hairline because, y'all, sometimes we don't get it around here, and that's why we have those breakouts. So, mmm. This really gets in there and does the job and it gives me a smooth canvas, but I love these two. And again, these are ones, I'm not going to say it again, I'll repurchase it. Just know that anything I'm showing you today, I'm going to repurchase. This was a surprise to me because I didn't think I would love it as much as I do because every time I don't use this, I miss it. It's the Sunday Riley. This is the Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. You talk about rich. Yes, it's expensive, yes, but that's the whole point of the sale. Get it when it's on sale, okay? This is the CEO Sunday Riley uh, Rich Hydration Cream. And it has vitamin C in it. But when I talk, when I tell you this has such a glow, this is perfect for fall and winter because if you have dry skin, this is, y'all can tell, oh my goodness, it smells like fresh oranges, but this is so good on the skin it brightens my skin it gives me instant radiance and it looks amazing under make makeup i really do enjoy it and this is like in my top five of moisturizers really enjoy it i feel like that this is great for normal to very dry skin if you are combination of oily i do not recommend this i'm just saying i would never put this on any of my combination to oily skin girls um especially when i'm doing makeup no 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 bueno para ti pero this is so good for normal to very dry skin highly recommend this let's move on to fragrance because i always forget fragrance you guys i'm going to talk about the three fragrances that i love and i would repurchase two of these um, you may have seen on my channel, but I got to talk about it. And one is a new one that I am oh, loving. Okay, so y'all already know YSL Black Opium is like the OG. It's in my top three favorite fragrances. I love it. Um, let me put, give y'all the label, right? This is so good. It's sophisticated. It's like it's like deep vanilla amber. It's um, sensual. It's sultry. I feel like you can use this day or night and year round. I really like it and that's the reason why I really enjoy it because this is one when you run out, you tend to, this is one I tend to miss a whole lot. So that is a definite recommend. It does have like a soft sweet, but it, you can smell that sophisticated musk scent and it is amazing at night. It, it's a going out um, type of type of perfume. I like it okay this one is an OG though y'all OG but I completely went through a bottle of this and I had to share y'all share with this with you guys this is Lancome Tresor oh this is a uh, I want to say vanilla musk and also like it has um, I, I don't even know if it has Neroli or patchouli I tend to like those type of uh, perfumes but this one is a vanilla too, and it's like a warm vanilla. I love this so much. I love this for my daytime pretty, like going to brunch, going, you know, going out, going out with the husband. Um, I really like this. So this is actually, I got it in a larger one. I went through the one that's right under this. This is the 3.4 ounce, and I love Tresor. It's just, it brings back memories. I remember one of my friends wearing it all the time, and um, I just really caught on to, like, loving it. I have the lotion as well, and um, that's a great tip to layer. 
okay even using uh, like coconut oil when you come out the shower then using the lotion then using the perfume it's gonna last all day as you can tell I really like this I actually also have two of my purse sprays in this this is the uh, Giorgio Armani Passione Passion. I love the Giorgio Armani original but this Passion y'all it's like sexy fruity okay I love this so much during the day I feel like that it's beautiful during the day I know it came out during the summertime but I still feel like that this is year round I just feel like daytime beautiful um it does have fruity but I don't care I'll wear this like during the winter months I do tend to like my darker deep sensual amber scents I know this is sexy fruity but I really do like it during the day as well especially when it's you know a california christmas you know what i mean i love this so much and um this is new to my collection but i really enjoy it and i will be repurchasing it again i know oh we're moving on to makeup okay before i go into anything else i have to talk about this because this is a product that i have not ever talked about on my channel i think before you may have seen it in a haul but y'all pick this up if you like are no nonsense with cleaning your brushes if you don't have a lot of eye brushes but you find yourself always having to wash them and you need something to like clean in between this is the Sephora dry clean this is the instant dry brush cleaner spray this is amazing it is so good highly recommend it I think it's like $11 okay so pick your some up if you need something that you know meets that need of cleaning your brushes especially your eye brushes I feel like it's small enough but these actually really dust away your large brushes as well just take a paper towel spray some of this you can actually spray it directly on the brush as well because this is dry clean and it your your brushes are not wet they are dry and ready to use so love 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 this i had to talk about it first thing i want to talk about are my primers this is the photo finish primer water something about this i keep going back to i've gone like this is maybe my third or fourth one that i'm i've gone through and it's silicone free alcohol free oil free that's probably the reason why it makes a great like alternative to fix plus when I don't have fix plus I really like this and it's very hydrating this is something that's really great if you have dry very dry skin and you don't like primers if you don't like the silicone feel all of that this is silicone free so I really like this this one is another one that's silicone free this is the hangover um, face primer I've gone through several of these including the deluxe size as well and this has coconut water probiotic let me tell you this wakes up the skin this is something that i would definitely repurchase y'all seen this all over social media so enough said right love it so i've never talked about this primer before but i thought i would talk about it because i really do like it it's something about this and i have several of these because they were 100 point perks but when i run out of them i'm i'm gonna purchase it this is the ysl touche clot blur primer it does have the gold uh flex in it this is this was when it was the 100 point perks and i think i have like seven of these yes because i wanted to get multiples but you get a ton of product in this small one it's 0.33 ounces so three of these make one ounce of a primer which was really cool so i actually have two whole like uses of this um of the full size and it lasts for 24 months so how cool of that is that so i really do enjoy this primer so showed y'all three primers let's move on to foundations because we have a few the first one i want to talk about that's a from the designer i want to say high-end luxury is the pat mcgrath this is the skin fetish sublime foundation i really did enjoy this now i did get mine from influencer but this is something that i would repurchase on sale i would not purchase it honestly um not on sale i feel like it's a high price ticket item it's 68 dollars you guys I need to get my 20% off okay and I might even use a gift card or two okay so um, I think that it is a good price I mean getting this on sale um, my skin look flawless on this I do have a review I will put it down below or in the i cards but this was a high ticket item $68 is a lot for a foundation this is probably my highest yes 
this is my most expensive foundation to date and um yeah so i gotta get the 20 dollars off okay second one is Giorgio armani i did write um i did run out of that that's the Giorgio armani luminous silk foundation i also have the powder foundation in my makeup bag i'm not going to get it out but the powder foundation and the liquid foundation and luminous silk amazing i feel like get that on sale too that's the only time i would get it to be honest with you because it's a high ticket item i have enough foundation to wait until the sale um it's not something that i feel like i'm just gonna die over although i do feel the itch to get it i'm gonna wait the dior backstage face and body is so good i have it in 4n by the way in the pat mcgrath i'm medium 17 um i just want to give you guys my foundations i'm gonna start listing those down below because a lot of people ask me and uh, really enjoyed this i have done a review the difference between um mac face and body and the dior and which one does better for what skin type you can definitely check that out but i really do enjoy this and i have a full review so i'm not going to stay long on it but i will repurchase this i really like it it's one of my few matte finishes that natural matte finishes that i really do enjoy i'm not a matte girl i usually like natural and finish um natural and medium satin those type but I really do enjoy that. Nar Sheer Glow. This is probably my, this is my second one. And I am in the shade Syracuse. I really, really enjoy this. I like the All Day Flawless. Um, and I'm going to try the Radiant. But Sheer Glow is definitely one of my go-to foundations. Love it. Um, won't be without it this will be in the arsenal all of these will be in the arsenal but this one right here is probably one that i would like stop hold on it's not here i'm feeling weird oh my goodness yes this one and the one that i'm going to talk about next which is the smashbox studio skin 15 hour hydrating foundation amazing this one lasts all day for me i'm in shade 3.2 I really do like it and it gives a beautiful finish a nice hydrated fresh look um i feel like both of these do, do although this says sheer glow don't be, be be fooled by that i feel like that these both give really good medium coverage i feel like if you try to go full coverage on this it's just gonna look too much that's just my in my opinion but these are like beautiful flawless type of skin Next thing I'm going to go to is our concealers. Let me go to a color corrector first. I won't be without this color corrector. Urban Decay. You did an amazing job on this Naked Skin color corrector fluid. And it's in peach. The It dries down. Once you put it, you do have a little time to finagle and move it around. But the dry down is faster than just using a concealer or orange or cream concealer. The dry down is perfect. It's flawless. It gives me perfect brightness in that area and it looks amazing with the naked skin weightless uh concealer a lot of people are not talking about this but if you have dry under eye this is an amazing natural like medium coverage under the eye i feel like it gives a flawless finish and these two the combo is perfection the final concealer that i'm going to talk about that i have been really really loving is the essay lauder double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer i am in the shade three w it is amazing i feel like that this is a great full size uh, of full time full time yes uh i guess you could call it full time this is a great full coverage concealer it is amazing and um i do have this one in a mini like a face full of mini reviews and it gives me a flawless under like flawless under eye that's what i wanted to say in the naked i am medium dark warm by the way these are ones that i'm going to repurchase the lighting edit you guys i have had this for so long and i feel like that this is the best like if you need three powders one for like softly highlighting buffing skin soft focus i feel like that this is amazing i would not use this on my deeper skin tones though because then it tends to look ashy that's just my opinion but if you are deep tan or lighter this is going to look amazing on you especially soft focus i love using this for weddings and i also love it love using this for like the under eye i think that this is a great multi-purpose product if you want even more bang for your buck i 
unfortunately i can't my girls with melanin if you didn't get the one from last year um which is this one unfortunately i feel like that this the next one like this year they did not cater to women of color unfortunately but this one was a really really nice one and they have these holiday palettes this one is the ambient lighting edit unlocked this is phenomenal this is my favorite palette to take for me traveling it has my bronzer it has my face powder it has my under eye powder it has two blushes and like my beaming highlight right over here i love this palette so much they need to come out with things that are deeper skin tone like this for my women of color but if you can get this in your skin tone if that collection works for you i highly recommend it it's a, it's 80 bucks so it's expensive that's why you want to get it on sale final thing are the blushes i love hourglass blushes remember all of these are baked so it's going to look like skin or melting into the skin especially after spraying fix plus or some type of finishing spray and it melts into the skin it's going to look so cohesive to your look and this particular blush is called iridescent flash so this one actually has a strobe light in it it's a strobe light blush um, so this one is the ambient one and iridescent flash. I really do enjoy this. I feel like it's perfect for fall and winter because of that berry shade. Really enjoy it. Love it so much. The only bronzer I'm going to talk about is the Pro Bronze Fusion. I've talked about this nonstop. This is in 30M and y'all, I got a backup. This is what I would repurchase because what? This one is gone. Hello. I'm a bronzer fiend, but that bronzer, my next one is going to be the Guerlain. I just, I love bronzer. I love trying new bronzers, but that one is my jam. And I would use this as a bronzer contour. This is the Maker Forever foundation stick. I love their foundations, but I really love using this. This is in R530, my perfect bronzing like contour shade. Really love a stick foundation using it as a, a cream bronzer because you know it's going to last all day too, the pigmentation. Let's talk about blushes. I'm going to talk about Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm going to also talk about Milk. This one is in, this is the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in First Love. This is how it looks. I know, especially for my skin tone, it does not look like it would show up, but this is what I have on today. It's very like light, and it looks flushed, and it does not overpower your look. Really enjoy these, and it's like butter on the skin. I'm I I was like, this is like overhyped, but it's really not. It's really good. The Milk Lip and Cheek Blush. This is in work. So good, okay? It looks so good. It's that mauve pink, but I love this because this is like for the glam mom or the mom on the go. It is, or just a woman on the go. You don't have to be a mama, okay? You can be a single fierce girl or woman or you know i just really like this because you just can take it on your finger and blend it in it looks amazing you can pop it on your lips i really enjoy it i get a lot of use of this and it is a quick fix during the morning i'm just saying the laneige lip sleeping mask enough said about this i know this is talked about all the time you can try this in a gift set for, and get the like little travel size that's what i did but i can tell the difference when i use this at night sometimes i can still have the balm on it and it hasn't all absorbed when i wake up and my lips are very supple and smooth and ready for lipstick or liquid lipsticks love it brows bravo conditioning primer i live by this i'm not going to be without this constant repurchase love it so much i've talked about it in so many favorites videos it is crazy you're probably tired about it the only palette that i'm going to talk about is the natasha denona sunrise palette i have not done a review on this i have not shown you guys looks if you want them please let me know i'm probably going to do it anyway but i feel like although this came around the summertime i feel like it's still fall appropriate it has amazing mirror y'all know that's a deal breaker for me um but i feel like you could still get some fall looks out of this you know what i'm saying i know it's a summer palette but i definitely think these these shades over here you definitely could do a lot of fall looks so it's it's smooth the mats they ain't lying kinky sweat told me that that palette was the bomb girl yes the girl no eyeshadows so if you are still on with me, put a lipstick emoji down down in the comments, okay? I feel like, yeah, let me know. I might reach out to you. I'm, that's all I'm going to say, okay? Put a lipstick emoji down, all right? Let's talk about some high picks. I definitely wanted to talk about lipsticks. 
YSL lipsticks, nothing like them. I feel like they're moisturizing, but it's also the color, the richness, richness of the pigment. Now, this is a summer shade for me, but um, a lot of people wear that orange coral year round. It has Melissa's lipstick. I just like the classiness of an expensive looking lipstick that looks amazing. I have a Tom Ford lipstick that I oh, can't find right now, but um, oh my goodness, so good. Tom Ford lipsticks, I just, I know it's $52, but I'm just saying that the, this is the whole purpose, right? So good. Let's go to Giorgio Armani. I have the, what is this? The Rouge Ecstasy line. This is in the shade 103. It's what I have on my lips today, topped with Fussy. Y'all, Fenty lip glosses are the truth. I love them so much. And I love, I'm almost done with the, um, Fenty Glow um, lip gloss. Fenty Glow lip gloss. I'm almost done, but I went ahead and bite the bit the bullet with this one. I should have waited for the holiday set because they have this one plus four others. Don't know if I'm going to get that just because I have so many lip glosses to get through. But anyway, Fussy is really nice. And finally, Giorgio Armani. This is um, their lip maestro in 202 such a beautiful shade let me swatch this because i'm gonna swatch all of these because i need you to know that is lip maestro okay this is 103 this is the rouge ecstasy it is a pale pink i tend to like those type of nudes especially with a liner but these are so beautiful i feel like the lip maestro 202 is perfect if you're a woman of color it would be your perfect nude if you're a deep skin tone so beautiful right um yeah these are like my favorites that i would repurchase over and over again oh that's it you guys <laughs> Thanks so much for sticking with me but these are my sephora recommendations i feel like that these are the ones that i am going back to the store and guess what i'm going back to this video if i run out and i'm like girl what did you like i'm confused this is what i would go back to okay these are my most repurchased these are the ones that i would repurchase so i'm guessing i'm going to name it something like that thanks so much for watching you guys i'll see you in the next one bye guys